What's up, boys? It's your boy, Sick of a Dunkless, bringing you another video regarding the showcase for Gother. This video, we're really going over a full showcase for You Are Gother on the Japanese version. And we're showing off my personal Gother and talking about him. And we're talking about his linking partners and all the fun things involved with them. So, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Bum, da -da -da -da. So let's talk about Gother and talk about his skills. Somewhere on the screen, of course, there'll be fun things that I will show you. His first ability is going to be an AoE attack that's gonna hit everyone on the field for 120%. Going to have an attack seal at rank two and at rank three, it will do a two turn attack seal and go up to 180%. His second ability is why he is the most coveted unit in the game and it has the ability to rank up one character's cards at rank one from a, from a level rank one card to a rank two card or two card to a rank three card. Second rank on that ability will do for all cards on your team, and if you're in a raid, your friend's card. Yes, that's right, your friend's cards. That's why he's the best raid unit in the game. That's why he's the best unit in the game. That's why he's the best unit ever. No one ever is better. Get over it. And the third one will also give you a 20% stats boost like Arthur, giving you the attack, defense, and HP boost to all of your team to give you that juicy, juicy stats. Unfortunately, it is not as strong as Arthur's buff and nor does it give you the debuff immunity that you like, but he is broken. Going on to the ultimate ability. His ultimate ability, yes, mine is completely max arena. I believe he starts at like 300%. I actually have no idea. 350%. And his fate combination will be at 400 starting. At maximum, they go to 525, obviously, and then they will go to 600%. Now, the major difference between the non fate combo ultimate versus the fate combo ultimate, which is why max ultimate king is so awesome, uh, is, and I bought out of rotation today just for y'all, so be appreciative. We have 525%, which will lower three ultimate gauge on the entire enemy team, or 600% and lower five ultimate gauge on the entire enemy team. Completely removes ultimates. Be like, you're welcome, bitches. I'm, I'm out here just go through just bopping kids. Where's your, where's your ulti, bro? Nice ulti, bro. That's basically what Gother says to people. So there is two major reasons why Gother is Omega Fire. Now let's just add, put a little icing on the cake onto why Gother is so good at this game. And Gother, of course, will have a passive ability that increases attack of all allies by 10% every single fucking turn until he gets attacked up to five times, giving you a maximum of a 50% Passive attack bonus to your entire team when he does not get attacked every single time. So if you don't whack the Gother, he's boosting the entire team's damage and you get fucked. Of course you do not know about the screen, if you click the character here, you go down to this little swishy doo doo, -doo you see the association links for the character, and you will see what you have in your box and how to pleb you are up to 5% for the ultimate gauge, or up to 10% to know that you are a baller. And then you can see who gives what to everything in Japanese, because this game is not in English yet, there is no global version, I've never played global in- By the way, Omega Flex, 47 million gold, where are you at, bitches? <laughs> You will get an extra 1,000 combat class for using King, which is what you should be doing, and you're also getting 19.2% pierce rate. You will also get 5% of the base stats of the character if they have no ultimate gate, no ultimate level, and 10% if they have max ultimate. That's why you see you have differences. There, of course, we have Merlin as another linking partner with him for 19% critical chance, and then we have, down here for Slater, an extra 280 attack. So most of the time, if you're using Gother, and if you want to use King on the same team, you'll be using red slater because if you max blue slater you trash but if you max red slater you are a smart person the fuck maxes blue slater ulti right big whaling now of course if you're here for my stream yesterday i already hit maximum rank in pvp and it was so fucking easy we won eight fights out of the nine fights we did yesterday and of course we are max rank pvp i cannot use blue king as a fake combination unit here for my gother but i will of course be using red king because of that so let's go ahead and go into the fights here with 124,000 gearless combat class because this is educational and not entirely a flex it no motherfucker it's totally a flex <laughs> for every character on the team here we also have max ultimate except for our red king who is at three out of six my red eskinor is six six my red 
red Arthur is 66 and my red Gother is 66. So we go in into the here with full cosmetics and if you did not catch it in my cosmetics guide as well as the other things, cosmetics matter. Hey look, it's an Escabro. I have 10,000 more combat class than you, but you still have a chance. Are you scared? Because I'm scared. We're raking up the goat the attack here so that we can make sure we wabwam and then we're gonna roll back the ultimate so that we don't have to deal with the wabwam. Also, it's really, really annoying to deal with Escanor. It's a bot, no big deal. Literally, almost every fight is a bot in PvP. Why do they even call it PvP? I think they should call it PvE with an asterisk. Sometimes it will be PvP. And when it is PvP, it will be an asterisk. And look at that, he rushed his ultimate. Oh, joyous day, we're going to boost Escanor. And then we're going to boost his ability and then completely one-shot the green Escanor. This is hilarious and in no way will do 80,000 damage. Wabop. Oh look, my red Escanor one-bopped the green Escanor. The power of rank ups, ladies and gentlemen. In no way is it completely broken. And here we have Gothor coming out to attack seal my team. There's a rank up, a level two rank up, breaking up every ability in the enemy team, and Kodade Doda. And then giving me an attack seal. All my cards are sealed, and of course, Gothor has his passive ability up. I am then going to use my attack seal here, even though it does not matter. And then of course, we will use the attack, the, the healing negation on Lilia, so she cannot cleanse, motherfucker. No cleanse for you. Goodbye, alternates. You shall be missed. Goodbye, Gother. You will probably die. We will see. Another rank up. Motherfucker, you just... Bots are so hilarious, by the way. Gother. Oh my god. This is, this is so funny. He just ranked himself up with no fucking rank ups. I love Gother. I just love Gother. He's so funny. He's so funny. And I'm gonna go one, two, Furu Senduru. There's another buff. Whoop wham! Not enough damage, but it's okay. And then a whoop wham! Okay. Well, as you can see, Gother rank ups were very key in there. And of course, the enemy Gother was so much fun to just play with. If you didn't see my previous video with Merlin, uh, Merlin is OP. And I have a winner for Valenti if you want to check that out. Hopefully, I will be awesome. And there will be a thing up there to talk about what m this new character Valenti does if you want to learn about that. But we're going to go over and go over Gother in this one. And of course, we are using him on my Merlin and Valenti team. Hopefully, we do not get ultra bopped and it will be fine. <laughs> 208k this man's this man's with his 208k okay buddy we get it we get it 208,000 I understand you're a legend okay you're a legend bro dial it back what I'm doing yep that's what I'm doing one of these shield Yep, gotta eat that. Okay, okay. So now we have the Merlin attack. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, we're not using that Valenti ulti. We don't need to. There is the ult rollback from Valenti. Let's see. Oh, yep, doesn't do any damage because of Valenti OP. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so now I know I don't have to worry about Lilia at all. So now we're gonna do a Mergerino here. I'm gonna go ahead and boost Gother and attack seal the Escanor because he. This is like annoying his balls. Now we have two ultimates up next turn. So whoever he focuses, we're going to be good on. Okay. So now that we have taken the damages, we have to figure out what this man's is doing. I'm probably going to kill Lilia because she's crazy. Oh my god, you can do damage. The damage is real. I'm taking damage. This is not good, chat. This is not good. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and Furu Senderu on the Lilia, okay? And to be absolutely sure, let's go ahead and roll back uh, Meliodas' ultimate, just real quick, just real quick. Boom, 131,000 still not dead, by the way. Ow. And now it's dead, okay. And now we have to roll back Meliodas' ultimate just a little bit. Okay, so now their entire team has no pierce. Their backline is a red king. The most dangerous man's alive. All right. 
There's another hit on my Valenti. She's taking some damage. Oh my god, is she taking some damage? She is definitely taking some damage. This is not good. Uh, we are negating a lot of the damage, but we are taking a lot of the damage. Okay. So now we are gotta do... Okay, we're gonna go like this. Okay, we're gonna roll back this man's ultimate. And then we're gonna do an attack seal. Yes? Yes. Attack seal. So he has to do a move before he does anything in order to attack. All right. Does King have any attack abilities? It does not look like King has attack abilities. Okay. So now we have a Gother ultimate ready to go. There's more chip damage coming in from this Meliodas. Another hit from over here. Oh my God. This Escanor has so many abilities. And of course... Because we killed the Lilia Meliodas, you a bitch! From the Meliodas, a bitch! Meliodas, ho. You know what? I, I, I may want to uh, drop a shield here. Be a shield hero. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm doing here? I'm, I'm going to drop a level 2 shield. Yep, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop one of these and drop one of these and get level 2 shield. Because <laughs> I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. We got Gother coming in with this big PP level 5. Oh, look at that ulti. 200,000 damage. No problem. And of course, the big Merlin shield to protect my Valenti. And look at that. Because she's at 1 HP, the HP damage from this Melihodas is doing almost no damage to her. So now we have to kill this Escabro. Because if Escabro dies, we win this. It's a race. Can Escabro die before Valenti? Uh, how many abilities you got, bro? Where you shop for your Escanor? Oh my god, we might we might clutch this. We might clutch this. Look how low she is. She is at 1 HP. I really gotta get you, Arvalenti. I really do. I really do. There is no excuse, Sakapoko. There is no excuse. Yeah! 208,000 who you knew you lost. You knew my team was superior. The power of Gother. Get out my game, bro. Get out my game. The power of Gother. Ultimate to your face. Yeah. Okay, so we we uh, we obviously uh, we okay. So this is what we do for Gother, by the way. Um, <laughs> this is a uh, showcase that I totally forgot that I was recording. Um, so, anyways, we have Gother here in a raid, and uh, we got Zawa here, who's apparently not trolling me today, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell him I has rank up two, but he did the rank up first. Did he fucking fat finger that? He fat fingered it. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna save my buff. Uh, this is what. Okay, by the way, uh, what happens here is uh, we, uh, we 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 he fucked up like bad. He fucked up. Anyways, uh, if I buff here, not good. Uh, but if his D-mail gets killed, also not good. But you know what? I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Fuck it. You know, be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Risk it for the biscuit. You, you we we be quailing out here. Just just fucking life steal, right? We do this on global all the time, right? We just life steal with Arthur. No big deal, right? It works. It works. Just lifesteal with Arthur. See, he's a 20k lifesteal right there. He's fine. He's not going to die. If Demon Melody dies, he's a bitch anyways. Who cares? What we did with uh, the Gother rank up there is you'll notice that we, uh, I I did my rank up. And it went, I merged it for a rank, level 2 rank up. And then because I merged it for level 2 rank up, we were able to get all our cards fully ranked up. And that's a really important thing to do here in raids. So, again, level 2 rank up and then you use your Gother rank up. Don't use your Gother rank up before level 2 rank up because otherwise you a bitch. You don't want to be a bitch, you want to be a good player and a good teammate. Make sure you're not a bitch, okay? Good teammate, not a bitch. Remember, rank 2 Gother. Rank 2 Gother, rank 2 Gother. Anyways, because you use a rank 2 Gother, it ranks all your teammates' cards up, which is Big Pog. And now we all have 3-star cards for this run, so which is great. And that's why you do that and watch the video. Okay, I'm going to do this right here. I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do this right here because uh, I'm a bit don't have my cards. I'm gonna do that. This will do approximately this much damage right here. I think this much. He's gonna do. Oh, yeah, that's enough damage. That's we're good. We're good. Solid. We're good. We're good. All right. So now we are full food sendering this guy because we have three star cards and we're doing tons of damage. You see the massive amount of damage increase because we're using rank three cards. Rank three cards is the whole reason Gopher is good. And then I'm gonna bop this kid with my ulti here. Wha bam, and then we're done here. We're done in this part of the raid. So now on the final boost, we're gonna just go to full send and we're done, okay? 
I'm going to tell him, hey, Zawa, wait, I got a rank up. I got a rank up, okay? Don't use your rank. Oh, he has his rank up, too. He, this is a very important one. There's a rank up there. Okay, we have rank three cards. Okay, I'm going to use my ability. Um, I'm going to use another... Uh, I'm going to use another ability. I'm not going to use this ultimate because... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that. And very important here, because we have the rank ups here. You notice when I'm not merging these two cards and using the ultimate here, I am actually saving myself two more fucking rank ups. Look at that. Two more fucking rank ups right there. As long as my Gother doesn't get focused, we have two more rank ups next turn. We'll see if my Gother gets focused. If he doesn't, we have two rank ups. Easy. And that means we have a boof. So I'm gonna let him know, hey, I have a boof and a rank up, and it will pop when this is done. Well, bwam. Do that. I have. See, it says that I have a rank up. That's the I have a rank up emote. Okay. There is a Gotha rank up emote on global. We don't get it on JP because we trace. But essentially, that is what we do. Okay. Here we go, boys. Wham bam. He's gonna hit there. No big deal. And then wham bam. Second buff. All right. Now notice the third attack here is gonna cleanse one target. Look at that. D Melly got cleansed while the buff go bye bye. And then he gets a debuff focus here. This focus debuff right here says, "Hey, I'm gonna clap your ass." Okay. So watch out for that if you're doing crimson demon. Okay. We'll do that and then i'm gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna do one of these and uh then we'll do one of these okay oh i can't do shit because I can't, I can't buy that many cards but that's basically how goth works you see the level the level three rank up everybody got buffed but you know what arthur buff is a little bit better you can see go through rank up is 20 percent and arthur buff is 30 percent. so might as well just give you a little extra you know that little extra little little boof little boof then we can see a little bit bigger ppx in our damage well bam and that's why Gother is the best, because of the rank ups. Okay, last thing, by the way, if you didn't catch it, positioning matters. My Gother was on the left, his Gother is on the right for his composition. Even though it sounds like it's on the left over there, but it's actually on the right for him. Positioning matters. Just take my word for it. Stagger your Gothers, okay? It matters. If, if one person has their Gother here, you put your Gother here or here. It matters. Trust me, I'm not going to go into it. It matters. There's, it's, it's like a very complicated explanation. Just trust me. All right, guys. My name is Pogo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you watched the whole video and you didn't ask questions because you didn't watch the whole video. And an, and another one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button down below as well as the subscribe button up right around that section. And of course, notifications because we keep getting them. We just keep getting them. God, too many. Have a great day, guys. Peace.